Hello guys, hello, my name is Elena. welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do fondant covered cake. I'm gonna use my all-time favorite satin ice, this navy color for the bottom tier, so we'll be go straight out of the bucket. And uh, here's my cake, I already iced it, ready for the fondant. Nice and straight, tall sides, this one is 9 inch round. That will be bottom, and then we're gonna have a top tier for it. Okay, and we're gonna roll the fondant enough to cover the top of the cake and of course for the side. So about a pin, this large Wilton rolling pin uh, diameter, so that should be good. All right, so I'm gonna break some fondant off, just enough for my project. And I'm gonna start to knead it to soften it up so we can roll it. All right, so who works with fondant know how hard this process is. So <laughs> this is not one of my favorite parts, but can't go without it, right? All right, so just knead, knead it until it's nice and soft and pliable. And that way we can roll it nicely and it's not going to crack on us. All right, so that's about right. See, so the rolling pin pretty much fits so that should be good for our cake size so I'm helping with my rolling pin drape fondant over my cake just like so all right and I like to start smoothing from the top of the cake make sure all the air bubbles escape I like to do it with hand first so I can feel it and then I go with my fondant smoother just like that and then slowly gonna bring the sides of the fondant to the bottom of my cake, all right? So, but do it slowly, make sure it doesn't crease on you. So a little pull and tag and pushing it down with one hand and uh, smoothing it out with the other hand, just like that. And just continue go until you reach the bottom. And then I go back with my fondant smoother and make sure it's smoothed out and very flat at the bottom of the cake. And then I cut the axis with my pizza roller cutter. All right. Now this cake, the bottom will have fondant stripes in white color. So I'm going to do three stripes, top, bottom, and one in the middle, like that. So we will have two spots between the stripes. So total will we'll have basically five stripes total i'm gonna use my pizza wheel cutter i have the one that will cut four stripes so i need five right so i'm gonna pretend i have another wheel at the end of it and i'm gonna eyeball it and stretch my pizza cutter like for five even stripes for the cake i hope that makes sense all right and i'm gonna cut it out using just again guys you always asking in the comments what i'm using to glue my fondant and it's always easy answer simple just plain water just a little on the brush i guess the trick is not to make it soaking wet but just a little tacky and fondant sticks right to it all right so now i'm gonna roll my strip one at a time very gently don't try to mush it just like that and pick your cake side where you want to start attach the end of it make sure that sticks make sure that doesn't slide down and slowly and gently turn your cake very slow and try to place your stripe nice and even all right so at this point i'm not pushing fondant to the cake hard just make sure i can unpeel it to correct it if i need to okay so just enough so it kind of hangs in there just like that see it's a little uneven so that's okay and then i'm gonna roll my fingers over the top of the cake see like there i was a little too high so i was able to take it off and stick it right back all right so run your fingers on top of the cake so it doesn't stick above your cake edge make sure it's even We'll cut the excess of the ribbon just like that see it's a little uneven but because I didn't really push the fondant into the cake it's still movable see so I can just gently push it from the bottom up 
just like that see and it moves see so you can play with that see just like that so make sure top doesn't stick up and the bottom is kind of even sometimes people have a little um like a guides for the bottom part and just lay the stripe over it i don't have it so i just have to use my judgment to use my eye make sure it's kind of looks even and of course on stripes it is particular pattern so it's kind of hard to do but just patience and it will all look good all right so of course the bottom layer is the easy one <laughs> just lay it on the board all right so the same way make sure it's nice and flat cut the excess mush down the little end and again when you join the ends of the fun and if it sticks out a little bit you can just use your exacto knife and cut what doesn't look right okay now for the center stripe again just use your judgment so try to place it as centered as you can just like that cut the excess and like I said it will be two tiers so let's go ahead and dowel the bottom cake and I'm using Wilton dowels the plastic I'm gonna mark with my nail the place just a bit lower than the fondant level Mark it with knife and carefully pull it out. All right, and now the rest of the dowels, I'm gonna use this part of the dowel as my guide. All right, I don't worry about taking the cake part out, just let it be. So cut it out. And the next one, I'm gonna use this cut piece as my guide. So I don't go with each piece back to the cake. I just use the very first cut. That way they're all the same. And if your bottom layer actually a little uneven, but your dowels are all even, so the top layer will go uneven. Does that make sense? All right, so go ahead, put the dowels in. Make sure they go nice and straight. Just like that. And the very first dowel that we have this cake inside goes back to the first hole where we started just like that in the top cake tada! i already put fondant on it so it's ready to go so just quick easy transfer make sure it's centered i think we're good i like also mark my front of the cake so i kind of spin the cake around and pick the best side and that will be my face and i put a little that of fondant make sure i don't forget where it's at all right now just a little white fondant i'm gonna cut and make little bow like a bow tie that's about right again don't use any rulers just eyeball for the size all right so we'll make two loops make sure they the same all right using again a little bit of water let's put the center loop right in the middle and wrap it over just like that so here's our little tie then i'm gonna flip it on the back side and brush it with a little water and attach it to the side of the cake just like that all right then we're gonna do ribbon on the bottom and that one will be navy color again so just like we did the bottom layers stripes the same way just roll your fondant i like to use my multi wheel pizza cutter that way the stripe is even all the way all right go ahead attach the stripe to that all 
Okay, where's a little uneven? Use exacto knife to fix that. There we go. Smooth it out if needs to. And then we're gonna have two stripes in the front like suspenders. So again, make sure it's all nice and even. So attach one first, just like so. I'm gonna rest it right on top of my bottom stripe and I'm gonna cut the top. All right. And for the second stripe, again, make sure, make sure your bow stays in the middle between those two stripes, all right? Make sure they're nice and centered, okay? Again, cut with the scissors. You can do still exact enough to cut off, but the scissor was just easy choice. All right, now I have this button molds. I believe that's from Marvelous Molds. I will try to find them and leave you guys a link. This is very handy. I use a lot for baby cakes or doctor's coat cakes. Anywhere you need the button. Nice and easy. So just pop your fondant in and gently, careful, take it out. And it makes a cute button. Alright, so I'm going to make a few of those. So make sure your fondant is flat just like that and just carefully take it out all right do one more Okay. And now I'm going to make a couple of big ones. Now, if you have trouble with taking your fondant out of the mold, you can use cornstarch or you can pop the mold in a freezer for 10 15 minutes, let it harden. And will pop out with no problem okay especially when it's large like this it's easy to deform them because fondant is so soft so try different ways see how it works see cornstarch make it look so much better all right and i'm gonna paint them in gold so i'm gonna do sides first because it will be hard to color them on a cake without being messy so i'm gonna pre color them first all the buttons and then i'm gonna do a middle just like that Make sure it goes inside the button so you don't see any white. And once I'm added, I'm going to paint my bow tie in gold as well. Just like that, nice and easy. Make sure you dip your brush inside the bow as deep as you can without ruining it. So you don't see white spots as you're looking at a cake. See, just like that. And again, just slow, take your time. Careful. And make sure it's all nice and covered. If your gold, I'm gonna link um the gold powder that i'm using it's very good gold powder um, because some don't have nice coverage or have some funny gold shade i really pleased with mine 
so I'm gonna link just check out my description box in the video okay all right so now I'm gonna attach my buttons just like that the big ones will go at the end where suspenders come all right I'll do another one and then of course you touched the gold with your fingers before it dried completely so if you need um retouch some stuff so that's time right now put a little more gold where you rubbed off if some uh, buttonholes not too visible if gold kind of covered it you can always go with your uh, modeling tools and push back in to pronounce them a little more all right if you drip some gold on a cake you can always just wipe with water and because it's a dark color on a cake and my hands were in cornstarch a lot, I like to steam my cakes so they will be back nice and shiny and clean looking. All right, just regular steamer. All right, so here we go. This is final cake. What you guys think? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you back in my next video. Bye. Love you so much.